So guys, Karina Gould just released an ad for the Liberal Party in which she says at least 14 or 15 lies back to back to back. She just lies the whole time, keeping her cool. You know, she doesn't even flinch one bit. She says all this fake stuff, all this misleading stuff that is easily debunkable. And on top of that, they add to her ad, they added a bunch of parts where she's quoting articles of fake things that Pierre Polyev supposedly said. That is not true. Maybe he said those things 20 years ago, but it's easy to say, oh, Pierre just said this like he said it last week when he said it 25 years ago, you know, and not say it. But they're trying to make it look like he said that recently, and it's not true. The articles are made by CBC News and CTV News. And, you know, these news stations are obviously bought and paid for uh, the liberal government. Anything that comes from a journal that has been paid by the government, that is financed by the government, it's all fake news. Now let's watch Karina Gould for a whole two minutes. Hey, so I wanted to talk about some of the progress that we've made together over the past nine years. We've been able to lift hundreds of thousands of kids out of poverty. We've brought in affordable childcare and enabled thousands of people in our community to access the dentist. That's in addition to our climate plan that has taken the equivalent of 69 million cars off of the road. We're doing more to invest in housing that meets the needs of people in our community. And we're working hard to make sure that Canada continues to be the prosperous, safe country that we all love and know. And I know that there's more work to do. But when I think about the future, I know that Canada and Canadians need serious leadership. They need to make sure that their leaders are there to collaborate and work together with other levels of government to meet the housing needs that we have. That when it comes to really serious issues like mental health and addictions, we need to have programs and plans that are going to lift people up and not harm our kids further. When it comes to protecting the rights and freedoms of Canadians, we need governments that are gonna stand up for every single Canadian, not that are going to try to get around the charter and harm people further. When we think about what Canada needs moving into the future, we need a government that cares about these issues, that knows that climate change is real and is going to put a real plan forward, not leadership that is only going to put the partisan interests of the Conservative Party ahead of those of all Canadians. I will debunk every single thing she said. Hey, so I wanted to talk about some of the progress that we've made together over the past nine years. There was no progress made at all. You need to ask the tax. Build the homes because they're not building homes. Stop the crime because they're not stopping the crime. And fix the budget because they think the budget will because they think the budget will balance itself. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And thanks for watching.